Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Of the day trying to rinse this dirt off of mom's car. Don't look bad, but I see your fingerprints all over it. Might vacuum it out today too. So let's see. Car wash, brush deal. Doesn't put it out like this. I probably wouldn't use it. But I think it's actually got real animal hairs in this brush. So it's a lot gentle, pretty gentle. Plus pushing out all this soap stops it from scratching up the car as much. So, done with that part of it. Let me get back on my roundabout here. High pressure rinse. Well, I tell you, I really like this spot free rinse. But you do need to rinse off whatever water you had going on it before. So run that spot free rinse long enough to make sure the spot free rinse rinses everything else off. And these cars, if you just let them drip dry, you can't even see water spots on them. It's amazing. My friend here with this 95 850. She ran this car ashore not long ago. Hit something real hard with this wheel. I don't remember how it quite happened. But she's been saying it's been pooling. And I get under here today. And I see that the subframe is bent. So this control arm point is up high in the air. I guess they can still align it. I don't know if this is bent or not, but this outer tie rod end is worn out. The bushing is busted anyway. So I don't know if they can align that or not. I'm probably going to replace this tie rod end for her and see how it goes, see if they can align it. Maybe they can. What I'm here for is to do an oil change. She hadn't had an oil change in a while. I think over a year. What's the filter say? November 2016. She's been keeping oil in it though, which is good. But I'm pretty sure this mount is busted. As you can see, it's flat. I'm gonna replace that. I don't know where this grease is coming from. It looks like a CV axle leak. So maybe CV axle is leaking. She might have to deal with that here soon. There's grease everywhere. Look like a pinhole leak on that. All right, we got that mount in. All four bolts torqued down. I'm going to go ahead and Turn the car around due to oil chain so that the oil pan is gravity feeding out better. Because I'm on a slight hill here and I will probably get less oil out of it. Draining the oil out of the oil pan to do the oil change, I noticed a vacuum hose hanging under here. So I went up top, see where it was hanging from. It was hanging from this lower port right here. Well, that lower port right there goes back to the turbo bypass. I don't know how long that's been disconnected, but that's a boost leak for sure. So she's had a boost leak for I don't know how long. I plugged it back in, but I'm going to check it next time I see the car to make sure it hadn't come back off. It didn't go on real tight back there on the turbo, but if it comes back off, I'll put a zip tie on it next time. I don't know if I have a zip tie with me now or not. Got the oil change done. Somewhere along the road, she went and got 530. Personally, unless you're close to Canada, 
you should not be using 530 in these cars. If the temperature is above zero degrees when you drive your car, 1030, if your temperature ever gets over 100 degrees in your climate, 1040. With the wear on these older engines, valve stem seals being old, stuff like that, if you use anything less than 1040, you're probably going to be burning a lot more oil. Uh, a lot of times you might burn a quarter oil with 1030 every thousand miles, with 1040 every 1500 to 2000 miles. So you'll burn twice as much oil at 1030. Man, at 530, she's probably going through a quarter oil every seven, five, seven hundred miles, burning right through the cat. So 1030 if you're north, 1040 everywhere else. Boy, it looks like this car sure is running cold. So I'm wondering if the thermostat's broke, stuck open. So I'm going to check that temperature with my scan gauge when I get back from taking this car for a wash. The lady that has this car, you guys seen it before. She's, I don't know, she's definitely a senior, so her car is filthy. I decided to take it and get it washed for her. Thing is dirty. Need some TLC. Somebody step on the brake lights for me at the car wash, and two brake lights are burned out, so we got one left. So I'm going to get some bulbs and put it in this brake light system gotta fix that for her and uh, figure out what this temperature is it did rise a little bit and it dropped back down so that thermostat is messed up that time of the year and I did good by not losing it because Diane gave it to me a week or two ago I kept it opened it up just in time if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.